Hello everybody, welcome back. Another episode of Minecraft Feed the Beast Direwolf 20 Mod Pack playthrough. Alright. We're back. We've got smeltery working that I talked about last episode. But came down to check the tree farm. It was full again, so decent amount of wood and everything. Still haven't automated that part of it, but I noticed what I need to do is I need to take down some of these, spread them out. And as you can see, this all started as one lower block. They grew up, apparently not growing wide though. So we got to take care of that. Take these down. <coughs> Plant a row next to it. Ah, darn it. Ah, we don't need to take that many out. So I'll put these back up. Oops. will help. You don't get the greatest amount of food from them. You know, the sustenance on it's only half a half a marker of food. But they grow pretty quick. And they're there. You need something in a pinch. And if you automate them, it'd probably be, work out pretty well. As you can see, you know, they did, uh, even just from replanting and stuff without harvesting at all, gave me a decent amount. You go through them quick, so kind of need a lot of them. My usual preferred food item, it's pretty easy and such, is potatoes. Got plenty of those now. Got more barley. Sweet. Still have can back there. Did some pumpkins for some reason. But let's take a quick sleep. And then. We are going to turn up, check out the smeltery real quick. I have to run and grab a drink. So I'll be right down back. Sweet, sweet Mountain Dew. 
All right, so let's go check out the smeltery. I did make some tools off camera. I did not make a sword yet. It's just the regular generic sword. There's the pickaxe. This one's kind of nice. The mattock. It works as a shovel and an axe combined. And the nice thing about these weapons is when the durability runs down, they don't break. They just kind of stop working. So they can be repaired. You don't have to worry about it breaking before you can get it repaired. So let's run out and go over some stuff out here. All right, smeltery. Kind of went over the construction. There's nice blocks across the bottom. These blocks go around the outside of that bottom. Yeah. Let's do this real quick. All right. Nine block base. Three by three. Then blocks go around the the outside of that. These I sunk into the ground. Of these, you can add as many drains as you want. Going across. The requirements, though, are need a controller right here and a tank. Now, a tank takes lava. There is no interface to fill it over here at the controller. All you do is get a bucket of lava or whatnot. Just right click on that and it'll dump it into the tank. So you do that around. Here are valves that pour into this a casting table. This is the one you'll use to make your molds and the items to make your weapons. This is a crucible. It is basically, if you have anything left in there, you can turn it into giant blocks for later use, such as this. All right, these are your molds. These are made, you have to use aluminum brass ingots, which uh, we are just about out of aluminum. The only aluminum I could find is off those bushes I have. And it needs a lot. Smelting one of these, or putting in a furnace or whatnot, only gets you a nugget. So basically you need nine of these to get a bar. Three bars and one copper to get one ingot of aluminum brass. So, yeah, it's a lot. A lot of time off camera just running and well, let's go check out the little farm I have real quick. <clears throat> Haven't been down there yet, really, to look at it. So, basically, every time I walked by, I just grabbed it, and there was a lot of time where I just AFK did stuff around the house, came back and glanced, picked what I was ever ripe. I still haven't had any issues with mob spawning down here since you have to keep the light level low. Not sure exactly what level it needs to be, but oh, the other thing if you make one of these, walk on them, you're going to take damage. So keep that in mind. You had a coal. Oh. And that is why you don't sit with your creosote buckets. So you must have been. Yep. Gonna need to make a tank. <coughs> so that this can fill out. You know, don't really need much right now, but I do like having the cold coke for some of the machines. I 
and it does hold a fair amount. And we don't have enough sand for making all that grout. We used a lot up. Uh, we got four. Ah. And yeah, I'm good. So anyway, I wanted to make a sword. Let's find a pattern I can make to show you guys how making the patterns work. <laughs> Here. We'll make a mold for those. So, nope. when you're making these patterns, you can use any, oops, wrong station, there we go, you can use any material you want, so your best bet is just to use, wow, it takes eight. Okay, maybe that isn't a good one to try. Let's find something else real quick. Something I'll have to look into and try to figure it out just for this. Bowstring. Ah. A chisel head. Ah, that's only going to take half. Let's get back to chisel head and see what we got after that. A knife blade. No. today. Okay, so like I said, we need the aluminum brass. We will take one ingot of this to melt it down. You can drop it in here or you can shift left click and it'll drop everything you got into there. There's your fuel. I'm not sure if there's a way to auto fill it, but here's your little progress bar takes a minute and if you look inside which is easier to see when you have a few different ones you really don't want to fall in here because you do take damage I see a little block forming so when you dump a bunch of just raw ores in there which work just fine. It'll take two. All right, this is taking a little bit. So it just melts down. I get this little line. We have one ingot of molten aluminum brass. Now, what I did notice when I was making this aluminum brass, you could throw in a bunch of the aluminum, 
and it would say you know how many nuggets worth of aluminum you had and then if you threw in copper as it was going it would convert that into the into the alloy so oh, let's sleep real quick and then we will get to making some making that sword and making showing you how to make the molds Another thing I did notice is I had a creeper blow up over here when I was working on this. And after that, for some reason, it's it like it wouldn't update the lava. It didn't destroy any of the blocks. But rebuilt it, moved it, didn't do anything. Ended up re-logging. And it kind of did, so I don't know if there's a glitch with that. So let's make these patterns. I do is highlight it, right click on the casting table, you see you put it in there, right click on this on this drain. It's gonna fill up, it's gonna turn colors, bang. You got your cast, get your item back. Oh that must take a see. Yep, that took a full full bar so I did want one of these anyway regardless didn't really need one of those what I need to do now is uh, for the sword I suppose I can make an iron sword let's go grab the book and see what all we got For the sword. I believe I left the book out there. But let's take some iron gravel. Which I think just gives nuggets along with those. some iron because I'm probably just going to make it out of iron. So you go in there. You go in there. I'm going to do this to see what exactly I get. These I know I get nuggets. I'm not sure on these yet. But while well, that's burning up Let's get sword blade. Oh yeah, after these are done, these castings you don't they're not like one use. They are a permanent item, I believe. So all I do after I make one chuck them off this cliff where I won't grab them. Again, on accident until they just decay. So, blade, crossbar. Yep, I think that was the one we wanted. And right, let's take a look. I believe you are the book we want. Yep. <coughs> yep. Then we're making the rapier. Okay, tool rod, sword, blade, crossbar. When I was making my other items, I found a bunch of ingots of steel, so I used those. And these, I get you the reinforced automatically. So I made an extra one out of steel. All right, so we get this. Let's see how this is doing. We have eight ingots, five nuggets worth. So apparently that gravel. Oh, get out of there. So apparently that gravel does give 
ingots and not just nuggets. All right, put your mold in there. Make those up. And we have seven ingots left. We're gonna turn these into blocks. Oh wow. I see you need, you need a certain amount to make it into blocks. If not, it will sit in there for a while. Forever, I actually think. But I usually like to get rid of that stuff. But for now, let's make our sword. So we got iron sword blade, iron crossbar, and a steel two rad, tool rad. Ooh, takes two hearts per. And there we go. Put this in the... Holy crap, we died. We need tools and stuff. They'll come back out here. Did you melt down yet? No, not yet. Put our castings back in there. Keep some of this miscellaneous stuff in there. Uh, bucket of lava. Okay, right, so see. Down to 850. Just right click. I have noticed that it seems like this is pretty bad with updating where it's at. So. Two more ingots. That's enough. Yep, there it goes. Goes down, bang. <laughs> so, we'll drop this black iron in there. Okay, so now we got our tools. Yeah, that fun stuff. Now you can still modify these in. Yep. In this tool station. And you can rename it. Alright, what am I looking for? Dust and gems. Looking for lapis and redstone. And a diamond. So, put this in there. You can put your item in there. In this case, pickaxe. Now watch. You got your durability, mining level, mining speed, etc., etc. See, the durability and a diamond adds another 500 durability. See, modifiers remaining goes down. So we are going to do that. Which freaking hat do I have on? Alright, so... 
basically diamond pickaxe now. In addition to that, we shall add lapis. If you look in the book, lapis is giving you luck. You can put 450 on here. This is going to take a little while. But basically it's adding luck, which is <clears throat> the equivalency of fortune. I really wish I had blocks this. So this one, so that's 16 out of the 450 you can put on there to the rest off camera the other one I want is redstone which adds speed see how the mining speed popped up there and this will also use our remaining one modifier type <clears throat> then you'll notice on right here on this picture when you add something it actually adds it to the item and if you notice up here, you can name it. So we name it that, hit enter, or actually take it out. Bam. An 8.15. So, it's getting pretty close to the end of the episode. And the time that I'm trying to hold it under, so I shall tell you what. I am going to get this all filled up. And then I shall be right back. Oops, wrong one. 15 and 15. Be all right, right back. we are back. Alright, got all filled up with the redstone, as you can see. It's brought the mining speed up to 12. Now, I have been told that the diamond pickaxe is 9 speed, I believe. So, this should, uh, should be pretty good. Let's sleep real quick, and then we will give it a quick test run. We shall run down. Ah, I really need to get a plate on that door. I rarely ever go out of it, but... Let's come over here real quick. Although I do believe... I was looking for a place to do a little just strip mining. Because as you can see from my mini map, my house is over a huge. Well, ran into some here too, but. It's over a huge uh, mine shaft area. <coughs> this is just a ravine. Alright, so let's. See if it's noticeable. I'm not doing any time thing. But let's see. Alright, regular plain old diamond pickaxe. Hey, look at that. Oh, dirt. Messing up the plans, man. I really 
really don't like fighting when I'm here in liquid. Don't mind the zombies and stuff so much, but... And that would be why. So we got going this way. Just a little straighter area. All right, so. That's time to pick X. I see what you got. Uh, it is somewhat quicker. I notice at least. So yeah. Kind of liking us. Don't. Not as much as... Uh, what I really need to do is get... Uh, oops. Oops. Get my mining laser going. That's what I really need. Oh, I thought that was gold for a second. So, all right, guys. There is this. And well, better things. Easier to repair. Uh, probably has more durability. But the main thing is easier to repair. Easier to repair only needs one diamond. <coughs> it is faster with the Lapis Luzi and luck to it. You can basically give it the enchant you want. I'm not sure. I still have to look into what levels. You know, for how many Lapis you have in the pickaxe equals, you know, basically what enchant equivalent is it so let's see how our orchards doing real quick yep I just see it's growing pretty quick the majority of these bushes that I had are already filled with berries so very quick, but still prefer baked potatoes. Well, that and you can't eat baked potatoes when you're full. You can eat fruit for a while. So, so that is all, everybody. Have fun. Be good. Hey, back. One quick thing before I go. Put this in here. You can see it says Fortune 2 now. At 100 Lapis, it went to Fortune 1. At 300, went to Fortune 2. And probably 450 will give you a Fortune 3. But I ran out of Lapis. Yeah. So, that's it. See you again.